hey everyone welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about the sql server distributed sql server always on group okay so i'm going to talk about in detail session so before starting the session i would request to each and everyone who are newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and please visit the channel playlist sql server dba you will get the more real time videos which can help you if you are getting the help please don't forget to you know share with others okay and you can join the member by clicking the join member join button okay so let me start so firstly we'll give the overview about the distributed sql server always on group so basically the sql server 2016 provides a new features called distributed availability group for disaster recovery purpose it's a particular type of ag which helps access to the you know multiple failover cluster okay so we'll see in details in below okay so now you can see here suppose we have a two independent failover cluster in your infrastructure these cluster are configured with the two separate sql server always on groups suppose one of the cluster is in a primary site and the secondary cluster is a disaster recovery site okay so sql server distributed availability group provides a solution to configure the availability groups between these cluster okay so basically the distributed sql server always on ag provides you a feature call you can configure you know a link between two separate cluster actually which is placed in a different different cluster so you can create a uh, distributed uh, you know group between two ag which is placed in a two different cluster so we'll see in details don't be confused so we'll start from the traditional sql server always on so what was the till now actually okay so in an traditional sql server always on availability groups all replicas should be part of failover cluster we all knows if you are configuring the you know sql server ag in a traditional method so all the replica should be a part of single cluster okay whatever the node so four node five node three node so that all replicas should be a part of single cluster so we can implement a disaster recovery solution traditional ag but you need to configure the dr server in the same failover cluster okay if you see the example here here you have a primary okay and here you have a secondary but both in a you know single failover cluster across the multiple data center okay in a traditional method okay same in a second picture also you can add the multiple secondary and number of secondary whatever the applicable you can add it in a dr node but the all should be a part of single failover cluster but now the distributed ag will come in a picture you can see here suddenly you can see the change now suppose you have a two separate sites and you do not want to create a stretch cluster so whatever we did here uh you know so we are stretching the cluster actually okay in a dr dr site so that's the reason it's called stretch cluster okay so suppose you have two separate site and you don't want to create a stretch cluster so both cluster are independent of each other so you can configure the distributed availability group where the primary cluster is in the dc and secondary cluster is in the dr so what benefit we are getting here here we have a two independent cluster cluster a and cluster b okay cluster a have a uh, ag1 availability group 1 ag1 setup primary and secondary and cluster b also have a ag2 which is primary and secondary but the between these two cluster we can create a distributed ag okay and that distributed ag will listen through the sql listener if you can see here listener sql listener for ag1 and sql listener for ag2 so we can create here the distributed ag between two separate cluster till now what we are do doing actually whatever the uh, node whatever the you know uh, uh, secondary replica all should be part of single failover cluster okay here we have a two separate cluster cluster a and cluster b and between these two cluster we can create a distributed ag so what we are getting the benefit here actually okay so in terms of benefit we can see the disaster recovery and multi sites in uh, you know uh, scenarios 
so data center migration also we can achieve very easily so failover mechanism in the dr side we can achieve the scale out uh, you know uh, readable replica with the distributed availability group is achieved very easily okay so these are the couple of bullet points we can achieve so hope you got the point how you know the distributed ag can help the you know geography wise suppose let's take the current example uh, let's assume the cluster a is in ukraine okay and cluster b is in russia okay now you see the benefit actually so all the means the, the whatever the application running on a cluster a suppose uh, let's assume ag1 ukraine go, uh, the complete geography is going shut down it's not working in that case although you have a secondary replica in a, you know ag1 but still complete geography if complete ukraine will be shut down still your application will be up 100% with the help of cluster b which is running in a russia okay see the benefit geography wise so that's the reason uh, the distributed ag is introduced if any geography attack okay some let's assume the ukraine completely shut down no any dr uh, the secondary replica also up complete shut down geography wise still your application will be run with the help of cluster b okay which is running in a russia so this is something very very helpful to set up you know the distributed ag in a different geography okay so if any geography attack also your application will be run 100 percent so that's the reason it's introduced the you know distributed ag which is help uh, which is totally independent of you know uh, the cluster it will be uh, it, it is running on a two separate independent cluster okay so hope you got what was what is the normal traditional uh, SQL Server AG concept and what is the difference between uh, distributed AG okay well that's it for today uh, if any question let me know okay we'll try to cover thank you